My flow was not the hardest I was new to this market But I was so determined If I got it wrong, I just restarted so what's It started off like a dream We got together with Versa He was our producer He laid the beat for us to murder A nightclub in the city Had a talent show and we took part We took first place The judge told us the talent we should nurture And we did, but you know how life goes We grew apart I took on to a different path It doesn't mean I missed the chance I wish him luck, of course I do we just standing with a different stance Looking at me now to then Truly I'm in a different class Hey YouTube, this is Uncle Mama's music reaction channel Where I provide my views On talented artists who have low subscribers And low views As well as talented artists from around the world Now once again, I have no idea All the reason why they have low subscribers Or low views But I'm going to bring it to the forefront of my channel For us to view Now today I'm going to do my best to upload about 5 reactions Three of them are from the UK and the other two is from America. I haven't done a UK versus America in quite a while. So today I'm going to do that. Tomorrow is going to be more of a mixture of um, South Korean, Indonesian and Ukrainian and Romanian mu music all mixed up into one. So my first reaction is going to be uh, by a, a Brin artist, by... Um, uh, Mr. Has, this one is story time. My second one is X Range. How you doing, Range? Um, with the Hoods Hottest. Um, I haven't um, reacted to Range's tracks in, I think, uh, about a, a month ago or two months ago, something like that. My third one is Scarred with Leeches. Amazing artist. I have done three reactions already of his uh, brilliant tracks. Then the fourth one is going to be Calligraph Jones with G like that. And then the fifth one is King Batch with um, See Me now so that is the um this is my that's going to be my reactions for today but before that if this is your first time coming over to my channel please go over to my homepage, work your way from the bottom all the way up to the top because they are amazing artists which i do not want you to miss out on amazing artists with low subscribers and low views mixed up with amazing artists with high subscribers and high views and what i would like you to do is do your due diligence and, and carry out a comparison between these artists with low subscribers and artists with high subscribers and you will come to the realization that these artists are equally as good as any top A-list artists out there and your support is well, well, it's, it's most welcome, it really is. Now, if you are an artist or indeed know an artist, then kick them over to my community page, make sure that they leave their links there for me to check out. Now, if you want to follow me on any other social media platforms, then please go over to my about page, there's a number of links there, just click on it and it'll take you straight over to any one of those social media platforms. And as you know, I would love you to follow me on Instagram, Uncle Momo Moose reaction and when you do please leave me a voice message because i love to hear your voice right before i go straight into doing my first reaction i'm going to read a couple of your comments and then we're going to go straight into my first reaction right alex fred he goes ha ha this is a good reggae band from ukraine he likes it um as you know, I am a avid fan of Ukrainian music and the doors are opening for um, Ukrainian artists with low subscribers and low views as well, as well as artists that hasn't been getting that much of recognition. I'm all about that. So thank you very much for your support on that one. Um, Otto Bog, uh, I think it's uh, Otto Bog. I think it's Oko. Otto Boke. Regarding um, information on the bandmate, I've read all of it. It's absolutely amazing. So thank you very much for that information. And um, I hope everybody else is enjoying reading everybody else's comments, as well as me enjoying reading everybody's comments. You know, I hope you know what I mean by that. Um, Costin Batch, he goes, mate, that's one for reunion. It's not a cost with cost conquest song check that one out blind audition not this one is much much better you'll see um okay he was talking about broden um iron and i thought i'll keep saying broden loan and somebody made fun of me goes you english guys you don't have, you know when it comes to pronunciation of ukraine music we totally get it wrong i know i'm one of them <laughs> um tian Tere, it goes bless mr uncle momo you um for your best deep reaction for Kayon dinero you was talking about um, the last king album um Kevin is absolutely amazing. He really is. Um, Almids, thank you very much. He, I stumbled across, even though he has been recommended to me and told to me, um, with Rihanna and um, Dan um, Dan Ballard. He them them they done a. I think Dan Ballard wrote a song for Rihanna, but I thought they done a collaboration. Um, I understand that it was a Grammy nominated as well. So that was quite interesting to see. Anyway, let's go straight on to my first reaction. This is story time. Um, the rapper is um, Mr Hayes, and it, I think it's the journey. I have looked on his uh, website. 
and there's a number of um, videos that he's carried out. So please, I'm going to leave all the de details down below. Please check him out. Um, I like all, everything about what he's doing and a big massive shout out to you as well. This is your day today. Anyway, without further ado, you know what we're here for. Great vocabs and a damn good video with Joe Music. Can you dig it? Yes, what's up, Oxford? How you doing, man? Okay. Everybody's got their story, right? Well, this is the story of Mr. Has. So sit back and listen. Let me take you on a journey down this twisted track twisted How track. I feel the pressure burning Leaving with this blistered back How I became Mr. Hash Trying to figure out how the system hack And when the wall is up in front of me I throw my fist at that Look, it started out at school That's the truth That's the truth. kids spitting bars I wrote lyrics so I asked to use the beat That they were playing on their phone They just laughed and ooh How dare I think I can rap with them Then they march to the booth Way good Funny, isn't it? Well, I didn't find it funny then, no. but I used it for my motivation. Lash back like when a nun repent. Huh? My cousin said, Let's go to the studio. Said he'd ask a friend. He got us in. He said, Let's go record, just pay you half a rent. Okay. After that, my journey started. South Down had departed. You could come on the ride with me, or you could find somewhere to park it. My flow was not the hardest. I was new to this market, but I was so determined. If I got it wrong, I just restart so it. Next? It started off like a dream. We got together with Versa He was our producer He laid the beat for us to murder A nightclub in the city Had a talent show and we took part We took first place The judge told us the talent we should nurture And we did But you know how life goes We grew apart I took on to a different path It doesn't mean I missed a chance I wish him luck, of course I do We're just standing with a different stance Looking at me now to then Truly I'm in a different class Teacher, teacher My hands up I got a question to ask you. I made a mixtape called Get Along, but I'm sat alone in the classroom. Brought together 20 odd artists in the city, put them on that. But I hardly see any of them now. I must have lost contact. Where you were? Next stage, things weren't progressing enough, and I was pacing. Then I got a message Do I want to come to the radio station? He said he was feeling my music, delivering me the praising. I was smiling finally on the airwaves. This is amazing. I went, it was a great show. He said, Come back. I said, Happily. After a while, we had an agreement and he went on to manage me manage. After a good run we split I saw him on my socials He's a dad now, congrats man Yeah, you're adding to humanity About a decade ago I was performing At an underground This guy took the mic, he was next It was like thunder sound You could hear the pain of passion in his vocals He's now my daughter's godfather hey. Oh man, this is just so cool We set up a team together, forced the city to respect that Everywhere we went that guy is gory guy, my brother of this, we're the best at Finally I met my wife, she's loyal, she's got my back now She had experience with online marketing, promotes the background Thank you Ben, now story time is over, I'll end this track now It's done, there you have it The story of Mr. Has And I'm out was Mr. Has with Storytime, The Journey. One thing that I liked about it is the, how crystal clear that the journey was. You can, you know, sometimes when you get a rapping, it's like too fast it's, and you can't hear, you know, certain um, words or you feel like, oh, what's that? Or, or what's this? It was crystal clear to understand. And it's it's kind of funny when you say it's a journey because when he was rapping, I can sort of, if I close my eyes, I can picture that journey. And the nice thing about that is that he put in different kind of snippets of his journey as well. You know, i.e. his friends, i.e. where he started, i.e. His, his wife, um, I, and even at the ends. So, and even on the radio station as well. So it was really lovely um, orchestrated um, in putting the editing things together. And I said it was quite, it was very, very clear. Um, sometimes when you get 
get um, rappers. Like I said, it's, it's almost like it's not mumble or anything like that. But you know, there's certain words that you just don't hear. It's not even cleared as much as, as you want it to be. Um, the audio is kind of be could have been blah 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 as well. I can see from um, this particular um, track that this is all about him doing things on his own rather than waiting for anybody else to do it for him. You can see that his journey that has been trial and um, trial and error, you know, ups and downs, but he's still persevering. And that's what it comes down to um, your own personal character and to the point of persevering to do his own recording, not waiting for anybody. And you can clearly see that in this particular video that he's not waiting for anybody. He's still continuing with this passion. The passion is still burning and it's a lovely kind of feeling. And you can see how the, the journey is from beginning from when he was into school all the way up to the present time. And I've looked through his a number of his um, collection of music as well. And like I said, it's just uh, that thing of persevering. And if you carry on with that, if you still got the heart, if you still wake up in the morning, you think about rap, if you still wake up in the morning and you think, oh, that's a good bar. Or if you're walking down the street and you come up with certain, certain words, you know, you still the, that flame is still, um, is still a light and that passion is still there. And it's only going to be a, a matter of triumph and and that is one of the one of the hardest sentences that you can ever postpone on anybody is it's only going to be a matter of time you don't know when it's going to be you know every what i'll say is don't think of anything negative think about the unforeseen positive if you can't if you can't see it it doesn't mean that it's negative it's unforeseen positive. It's the positive things that you can't see. And I believe there's loads of things that positive things that you can't see um, that is around the corner for you. I really, really do with this particular track. And I see your, of your rapping skills as well. Like I said, it's quite clear, consistent. All you need is that right. You know what? It's, I don't think you've proven yourself as in um, the lyricist, you know, your penmanship. I think for yourself, it's, own, it's being at the right place at the right time to have you, to give you the, the right solution for yourself. And it's, you know, it's a case of putting yourself in that right place. And you don't know where, you know, you could be at the bus stop just like rapping somewhere and the car goes by and stops you. That could be that person, you know, it's just being at the right place at the right time. And that's what I just feel for, uh, for Mr. Has. You've got everything there. Um, the, the um the production of it it was very very like a story you know like um what's it not a nursery rhyme you know when somebody's reading you a um like a bedtime story and you've got that kind of bing -a ding -a ding -a ding -a, you know that kind of story kind of thing it, the music reminded me of that like it, it was it was definitely fitted the you know the storyteller kind of thing it didn't need to be brown brown you know that kind of thing it was more of a um it was you know it, it the song the production comforted the the lyrics rather than um yeah that's it the the the, the, the song the production of it it comforted the lyrics it wasn't overpowering it wasn't overwhelming it was there to support the lyrics it was there to support the storytelling rather than the other way around where you got the the music is overpowering and then you've got to come hard with it this wasn't about coming hard this was about let me let me um, open my arms put my um my heart on my sleeves and let you know about my life experience and where i've been and where i'm at and there's only a far few between rappers that actually do that. It's majority of the time it's like, oh, you know, my whips, my cars, blah, 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 blah. Uh, and then when they actually make it, then they might get a little bit of slowdown of, um, you know, my experience of, oh, I had to do this, I had to do that, I had to do this, I had to murk that person, you know, all that kind of shake that person, blah, 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 to get where I am, you know, at the mud kind of thing. It's far and few between when you get somebody that's saying, look, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, and this is my story. And it's what's lovely about this, that every person that you've came into contact with um, in on your journey, you're still like, like you have no um, grievance with them. There's no kind of, um, you know, heartfelt or uh, um, um, ill-felt manner towards these people. And and like you said, there's a part where you know that person is now your god um, is um, is your godfather to your ch um, to your child. So it's like every kind of connection that you've had through your journey, um, you've managed to get the best people out. And that is a situation where you know, for me, in you know, if you want to speak in a spiritual terms, that God's laid those those things out. You for God's made a reason for you to be in that place with that particular person and to gain that new certain experience and gain up that story so when it finally comes for you you're going to be you're going to be totally ready there's also a, a saying that clear out your back garden so you can welcome the new things that's coming in and because if you don't clear out your back garden for the new things to come in it's just going to be a total mess so i hope you just clench you know, so all the things that you just like don't want in your back garden and just just throw it out 
just throw it out and and just see the space and just persevere and continue doing what you're doing this is an absolutely um amazing uh, lovely track as well i love everything about it i really did and what's brilliant about it, like i said you can see that the personal touch is that, that you're not waiting for anybody, you're not waiting for that cameraman, you're not waiting for that, um, you know, you're doing it all, you're doing it on yourself, and like once, you know, you're, you're still hungry, and as soon as somebody sees your hungriness, they're going to step onto you, mate, um, trust me, and what a lovely person that you have as a wife who's supporting you in, in all these trials and tribulations and, you know, the ups and downs, and her personal experience that can help you as well, so it's a match made in heaven, certainly, um, so I'd like to say a massive shout out to Mr. Hands, but even a better shout out to the powerful woman that's behind you, supporting you all the way through, and for that reason, I salute you, sir, brilliant. We're the best at Finally I met my wife, she's loyal She's got my back now She had experience with online marketing Promotes the background Thank you Ben, now story time is over I'll end this track now It's done There you have it The story of Mr. Has